yeah, I went to the Cheesecake Factory um, over the weekend, and it's a ridiculous place. It's like a palace. I don't know if they think they're a casino or what, um, but, you know, it doesn't make sense. They're not manufacturing cheesecakes. Plus, the menu was ridiculous. There's too many items on the menu. They, it, there wasn't even the spacing in between the items to parse it out. So it was very disturbing all around. Um, Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to be taking a look at a solution we can use to force lock screen wallpaper policy for Windows 10 and 11 Pro. Because usually that's an enterprise thing, but we'll get into it. And we even used it as a way to uh, help. Uh, enhance the device migration solution. So stay tuned. Not and even eat the cheesecake. Cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecakes. Too much. Uh, one big piece of feedback we got from the Intune tenant to tenant device migration solution was what we would call like the middle boot period or limbo. So if you take a look, uh, let me open up the blog so I can show you. Um, yeah, so once we get past that first reboot and the device leaves 10 and A, you'll notice um, we're not in 10 and B yet. So we just have this default empty lock screen wallpaper and 30 seconds later the device reboots and then they're good to go log into the, you know, the destination tenant. The problem here is really um, there's nothing informing the user of this and sure we could have communication uh, from an end user perspective where you can instruct them to wait 30 seconds but I mean this is we're taking a lot of chance you know assuming folks are gonna read or listen to instructions so we said okay um, uh, so Sh Sean um, from the blog who has yet to appear on the podcast but we're hoping to get him soon said well why don't we do custom wallpaper so Sean went ahead and created this great image here, and you can see it gives us a place to insert an organization logo, put some support contact information, but essentially this will let the user know, hey, sit tight, the device is registering, and then after that, we can flip it right back to the lock screen wallpaper. Um, and we could script that, that's not a big deal. However, um, the problem is that is not an applicable policy in Windows Pro, whether it's Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Um, so that tends to cause some issues. So here, here was the goal. Let me attempt to use paint here. All right, so we have like a please wait while we migrate type of screen. And then over here we have the standard corporate, cor corporate lock screen. So we would have to kick this off with start migrate ps1 that would have to kick off so we at some point in in start migrate we'd be able to set that with the registry um and then during middle boot we would be able to let's create that and then during middle boot middle boot dot ps1 we'd be able to put it back Okay, so this is what we're trying to achieve, essentially. It's a very technical document. All right, so how do we do this? Let's open up PowerShell Editor, take a look. Um, we're on a clean Windows 10 box, so I can, I can show you this whole thing, um, but I don't have all my goodies, so bear with me. Yeah, so if you were to go look for the policy, the policy resides uh, here. So HKLM, oop. HKLM, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, personalization. And then you would do, so if this was a reg ad, you would do that. The lock screen image, T, reg, SZ, and your value would be uh, C path to your image dot png okay problem with this is this only works for windows enterprise um now you might think well that's not a problem if we're coming from windows enterprise right what's the big deal problem is if you're using uh if your windows enterprise key is, comes with your light your user licensing once you leave 10 and a after start migrate 
you're going to be left back with your pro device or maybe you started with a pro device and that key isn't going to apply and you might not get that key back so on that second reboot after middle boot you still might not have it back because you didn't sign in yet so you're going to be in pro in theory pro edition in both lock screens so we needed a way around that so what did we do here so what we did was figured out that instead of this reg key right we could do microsoft windows current version and we could do the personalization csp so we can add this to win 10 pro and be absolutely fine so it needs the lock screen image uh lock screen image path and then it also needs two other values it needs lock screen image url and it needs lock screen image status which is a, a decimal value of one okay so how can we make this work so what i did is i made a folder with both lock screens and a dummy mock-up of the middle boot task remember start migrate uh kicks off everything, changes the wallpaper, and would set that test that runs after the first reboot. So we can trigger that from here. That means we need two more pieces. We need a, um, we need a start my start migrate PS1 script. Okay, so we need a start PS1. And we're also going to need a middle.ps1. And this, uh, this piece I have here is just a dummy XML that simulates the, uh, the middle boot task. All right, so let's start with, um, let's open this up. So let's go desktop, lock screen, start. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by saying the reg path is equal to HKLM software, Microsoft, windows current version personalization csp okay personalization good and our image path is ultimately going to be i'm going to put this in program data just like the uh just like the actual migration solution and we're going to call that lock screen dot png okay um great so we'll have to add uh, the value. So let's go reg exe add reg path. Um, the value will be lock screen image path, which is a string. And that value is the image path. Okay. Great. Uh, we shouldn't need an out host there. I don't believe. Uh, next, we're going to add the lock screen image URL. That's what the policy requires. That is also a string and it's the same exact thing. You can leave. Okay, that's why we're that's why we're doing the uh, variable. The last one is a is a value. It's so we can still do the reg path. It's a decimal value. Um, so it'll be lock screen image status and that essentially just turns it on so D word and that value is a one okay just like in the real start migrate script we'll go ahead and call this middle boot and we'll point the XML at our XML file middle.xml okay and we will shut down in 10 seconds all right cool so we got that uh now let's take a look at our middle ps1 script so now after the device is rebooted this is going to automatically run and here we only have to do two things so you can actually we can grab the first part uh, only we're going to change this to new lock screen. So new lock screen is going to be what it's going to be set to. This is also a really good solution um, 
you know, if you were doing Windows Autopilot with Windows 10 Pro, you can set this if you wanted to force the lock screen because the policy won't do it. And this will make sure it's right there after that second reboot. So really nice solution there. So new lock screen, I can set those first two. I don't need the status. The only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna disable the scheduled task name is middle boot. And then that'll make sure it stops rebooting. And then we're gonna shut down again. And that's it. So what I did is I went ahead and put all this in uh, C program data in tune migration for now and we are going to run this as system so who am i system this will emulate how we do it in intune so let's give this a shot and see if it works let's just make sure we're on windows 10 pro windows 10 pro okay execution uh pc execution policy bypass start all right here we go all right, so we're going to boot back up and hopefully what we'll do is we'll see our uh, corporate migration screen. Excellent. So this will tell us, hey, the migration is in progress. You can see even if I click on something here, I'm still going to see it and users won't be able to log in. We'll get some support information. So this is really, really nice. And then I have it set here for another 10 seconds. OK, so you can see once it's done migrating, and it reboots the second time, it'll put us right where we're supposed to be with the new lock screen. Look at that. And we were able to do that with Pro, not Enterprise. So this is obviously a great addition to the migration solution. We're gonna update the GitHub repo with the script by itself, and we're gonna eventually embed this in the rest of the solution, um, hopefully in V4, which should be coming out next month. And we're excited about that with some other changes. But you can also use this just for enforcing lock screen wallpaper on Windows 10 Pro and Windows 11 Pro as well. And because the, both the group policy and Intune policies aren't supported there. So this is a nice way to do that. Um, any feedback or questions, hop in the Discord. Let us know your thoughts and we'll talk soon. Five, four, three, two.